The most common way to check when something resizes is just to throw a resize event on the window and then do something based on that. So in our case, every time we resize our window, we just list out the size of our box. And you can see here, as I change my window size, this number is the size of my box inside my box. But there's a second number below my box that actually counts how many times I've called this function. And you can see when I'm resizing my box, even though the box isn't changing size, we're still calling that function because we're resizing our window. This is very inefficient and definitely not ideal, which is why if you only care about the size of a particular element, it's much better to use a resize observer. A resize observer is created by creating a new resize observer and passing it a function. And then whatever you want to track, you just say observer.observe .observe, and you observe whatever that element is. So in our case, we're passing in the box because that's what we want to observe. But you can observe many different elements with one single resize observer. Then anytime any of the elements inside that resize observer change size, it's going to call this function and pass in all the elements that change. In our case, we're only tracking one element, so we get the first element from our array, and we can get all the different width and so on related properties that we want from here. And now if I actually save this function, you'll notice that as I resize my box or my container, nothing is actually called until I go and start resizing my box. And then you'll notice this counter down here is increasing and it's updating the size of my box. But as soon as my box is no longer changing size, it's no longer calling this function. Resize observers are really useful. I use them all the time. So it's really important to know they exist because a window resize event is really only useful for global things. It's kind of like the equivalent of a container query versus a media query.